Hey guys, Belcher here. I'm going to show you guys today how to write a book with ChatG. And you're going to think, when I show you this, you're going to say, it can't possibly be that easy, but the truth is it really can be. So let's jump over to the computer real quick and I'll show you how I go about it. So I'm in ChatGPT. I'm in the ChatGPT Plus program. It's 20 bucks a month. You can do this with a free version. It doesn't matter. But I just like the Plus because it runs a little faster and I get a little more priority using it. So we're going to go here and just pick a weird topic. So I'm going to talk to GPT first a little bit to make sure it understands what I want to do. So let's tell it, I want to write a book titled Word Farming for Fun and Profit, by the way. Uh, and then I always ask it, do you understand? Question mark. There it says, yes, I understand that you want to write a book. Worm farming is also a means vermiculture, the practice of raising worms, the purpose of composting, da 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 da. So it really understands what I want uh, to do. This book is for the U.S. market. Do you understand? Question mark. Go. Is it for the U.S. market? Diverse climates, agriculture, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. This book will be sold on Amazon Kindle. Do you understand the best practices there? Question mark. There we go. So it understands all of that. There you go. So it gets it all. Look, it. It understands all of the best practices. So I make sure that it does before we get started. So we're going to let that run for just a minute. And if I had keywords and things I wanted to include here, I definitely could. I could tell it to ask, uh, to make sure it answers certain questions. Uh, but I'll do that in just a second. I'll show you how to go about that. So we're going to go here real quick and do this. Watch this. This is going to kind of blow you. Can you write me the outline for the book, assuming a size of approximately 120 pages. No. And here comes the outline. So you can see that it's really generating this very quickly. Supplies you're going to need, the types of containers you'll need, the right location from your worm bin, caring for your worms. These are all, this is just the outline. Okay. It's going to take a couple of minutes and you're going to see how robust this outline is when you're done. This keeps on trucking advanced worm farming. So it goes through profitable uses of worm farming, advanced worm farming, troubleshooting, FAQs. So it's just up and out this amazing outline for me based on just giving a little bit of uh, attention. Okay. So the outline is done. So now I'm going to ask it, can you please write me 10 alternative titles for the book? Question mark. Sure. So here are the alternative titles in case I want to change compost to cash. That's pretty good. The worm farmer's handbook. And these are great. So you don't have to think about the titles and there you go. There's 10 alternative titles. Now I'm going to go back to the above and, and ask it this, and you'll see how quick this is. Can you please write me the introduction, make it approximately 1000 words in first person conversational tone written at a fifth grade level period. Also inject humor and a little bit of sarcasm to make the fun read a little bit more fun. And there she goes. So here's an example of the intro. Hi there. You're in deep in love with wiggly little earthworms. So see how much personality that injects by giving it a grade level to write at and conversational tone and first person. So it's like one person writing to another. It doesn't sound like an encyclopedia. Okay. So I'm going to let that run, but that's really the, the biggest part of the lesson, right? So what you would do is just go through each of the different sections line by line and ask it to write you that section. Uh, and you might go over and ask it to use certain keywords or answer certain questions. Let me show you a little trick that I use sometimes. I'll stop generating that for a second. I'm going to go to Google. So I'm going to Google worm farming. And so it's going to give me, uh, how to write. Worms. Let's see if it gives me any. Yeah, there you go. So what I'll do is grab these questions. I just keep opening these until it opens more accordion tabs. And then I can go, I could grab all of these. And I know these are popular questions. And I could say, as I'm writing different sections, please answer each of these questions in the intro. Space and paste. And there it goes to answer all of those questions in the intro, if you wanted it to, I wouldn't have it answer all those questions in the intro. I would have it, um, answer the questions that pertain to the different sections as you go through to write them. So you're going to get the most asked 
questions and Google answered within each chapter of your book. So you know, the book's going to be great. So we can stop here and I could also go and look up keywords around worm farming at like Uber suggests and say, be sure to use these keywords. If I were writing this for SEO, I would definitely do that, but this is going to be a book. So this 120 page book, I can tell you, if you go through this process, will probably take you somewhere in the neighborhood of four hours to complete about a subject, you know, absolutely nothing about. Now, if you know something about the subject, it's a whole lot better. You can dial down, you can drill down in it, but this is a great example of a use of chat GPT that most people don't know how to use. And in another video soon, I'll show you how to use mid journey an art creation tool to create the cover for your book. That'll just blow you away. So we'll do that in the next video, but right now, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little demo and, uh, if I can help you more, please let me know. Thanks. Oh, by the way, we're having a big, uh, AI summit here, April 3rd, 4th and 5th in Las Vegas. If you get a chance to come out to it, I'd love to meet you. Um, and show you more tricks I have in my AI robotics bag. Thanks.